all right good morning and welcome to mass atoka online class in today's video we'll be solving calculations on different topics of math 101 the first topic we'll be solving calculation on is number system number system if you have not watched my video on number system please do that and if today is your first day of watching our video please subscribe the first question said that which of the following which of the following which of the following is not is not correct which of the following is not correct option a said r minus q is equal to q prime option b said um z z intersection in z intersection q is equal to q okay option c said um z intersection q is equal to z then option d finally said q union q complement is equal to what r okay now solution um let's talk about the first one in the first one r is is real number don't forget r is the, is the real number the set of real numbers Q are the set of um, rational numbers. Q prime are the set of irrational numbers. Z are the set of integers. Y and N is not here, but N is a set of natural numbers. So, but I don't, don't forget, I told you in my video on number system that if you combine the rational and the irrational numbers, okay, you are getting the real numbers. So, automatically, you see that, okay, sorry, this is the rational number. You can represent it with this or this. They are the same thing. All right so if you combine the rational and the rational number you're getting the real numbers so this is correct this one is correct this one is correct how do i mean by this one being correct if you look at this now union in mathematics means plus so which means q plus q complement is equal to r so if i want to make q complement subject of the formula you now see that q complement is equal to what r minus q i get it so you see that these two are are the same okay they are very very correct so now let's talk about the remaining two for the remaining two don't forget that uh that z z is a subset of q that is z is inside q okay now the union the union of a small set and a big set is the big one look at that so z union q now look at this this is smaller than this because this is found inside here so the union of a, sub, a small set and a big set is the big one but the intersection of a small set and the big set is the smaller one i get this now so if you look at this now they say that z intersection q is z so the correct answer is b so b is the one that is not correct because they say they say which of the following is not correct so b is not correct because the intersection of uh, a small set and the big one is the small one so that is that question number two let's look at question number two question number two said question number two said which of the following again which of the following which of the following is false that is not correct as well which of the following is not correct a they say that n is a subset of q and q is a subset of r okay option b said option b said that n is a subset of z which is a subset of q which is a subset of r okay option c option c said um option c said that q is a subset of option c said q is a subset of q which is a subset of n option d said that z z is a subset of q which is a subset of r which is a subset of c right please know the difference between subset and c this is c now don't forget that what um, look at the summary I gave you. If you can remember in my video on natural uh, number system, I gave you a small circle like this. Call it n. Then covering that n is what z, the natural numbers. Then covering the the integers. This one is the integers. Is q the rational numbers? Covering the rational numbers are the real numbers. Then finally covering the real numbers are the complex numbers. So what does it mean that n is a subset of z, which is a subset of q, which is a subset of r, which is a subset of what c? So look at this now. Option A is correct because N is a subset. If N is a subset of this, subset means 
you can see it inside that set you will look at this now you see that n is found inside of q so it's correct and then q is found inside of r so a is correct i get it now now look at this one now um n is found inside of z correct and z is found inside of q correct and q is found inside of r so b is correct now look at this now they say that q is a subset of q uh, a, a set is equally a subset of itself anyway but the problem is that they only say that q is a subset of n q cannot be found inside of n so you see that the one that is false here is option c so this is the correct answer here so if you look at this one and they say that z is found inside of subset means found inside of so z is found inside of q z is found inside of q correct q is found inside of r q is found inside of r correct and then r is found inside of c and r is found inside of c is correct so the correct answer here is option c option c is the one that is false all right so let's move to the next one the next question on this so the next question here question number three question number three said um, which of these which of the following again which of the following is not correct which of the following is not correct and the option they gave me that option a said that n union q is equal to what r option b said that uh, q intersection z is equal to z option c said uh, n intersection q prime is equal to an empty set uh, option d said option d said uh option d said n union z is equal to z so don't forget i told you that what that the union of a, a small set and a big one is the big one all right look at these two now let me start from here q is bigger than z look at it q is bigger than z i get it now so the intersection of a big set and a small one is a small one so this one is correct now z is bigger than n z is bigger than n now the union of the small set and a big set is the big one so this one is correct now the one that is not here is our q prime q prime is simply the opposite of this q so they don't have any business with this, these people i get it now so the only place they have business is when we combine them with the q to give that it is a real number so if you look at this one now they said that n intersection q prime is an empty set yes they don't have anything in common irrational numbers irrational numbers are simply all the sorts you know comma pi and what exponential if you look at this now why natural numbers are go and watch my video are positive whole numbers if you look at this now you see that they don't have anything in common so therefore that is why their in intersection is an empty set because intersection is what they have in common okay so if you look at that you now see that the only one that is a force is a uh, option a so the answer here is what option a because the union of this and this supposed to give me the big one the union of the small set and the small set is supposed to give me the big one so not r i get in it so question number four so the only one that is not correct here is option a so question number four said the number the number square root of minus two is dash a option they said rational numbers rational numbers b they say complex numbers c integers then finally d the real numbers now uh, don't forget that what square root of minus two means the square root of two then i i told you that the square root of minus means i so and anytime you see i just know that it is what a complex number because complex number is a number that is made up of the real part and the imaginary part so that i is the imaginary part so any number that has the imaginary part is called the complex number so the correct answer here is b option b is correct so let's move to the next question question number number six question number six said which of the following which of the following is true which of the following is true option a said that what n is a subset of q prime which is a subset of r option b said option b said n is a subset of z which is a subset of q which is a subset of q prime option b 
uh, option C, sorry, option C, option C said that Q is a subset of N, which is a subset of Z. Then option D, option D said that Z is a subset of Q, which is a subset of R, which is a subset of C. Okay. Now, if you look at this, I told you that in subset, okay, Q prime does not have anything to do. Anytime you see Q prime, we don't, it's not a subset of anybody. They are abstract. They are on their own. Okay. And I think they can only be a subset of this man. The Q prime can only be a subset of real number or a subset of the complex number. Okay. So only these two that they can be a subset of. If not, they cannot be a subset of anyone. anyone. So they say that N is a subset of this, which means can N be gotten from this? Does this have anything to do with this? Can you get these numbers from here? No, it's not possible. So this one is out. Okay. Now they say that N is a subset of Z. Yes, this is found inside of this, correct. And this is found inside of this, correct. But this one is not found inside of this one. So that is what spoiled this one. So this one is not correct. So let's look at this one. Q is a subset of N. Is Q found inside N? No, it's not possible. But look at this one now. This one is the correct one. So the answer here is D. Why? Because Z is found inside of Q. And Q is found inside of R. And R is found inside of C. Like I showed you here. Right? It's very, very simple to note. So question... Do we have any other question here? Okay, so that comes to the end of number system. So go and watch the next video. In the next video, we're talking about elementary set theorem. We're going to solve questions on that. Thank you very much and God bless you. Bye-bye.